Hey, Frank. All right, so my first piece of art is the recycled paper, right? It says, when we heal the earth, we heal ourselves. Isn't that so touching? This was said by David Orr. The name of my art piece would be Earth. Artist is myself, Kevin McGuire. And the materials I used was paper, water, food dye, color, and uh, colored pencils, and a pencil. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, recycling really inspired me. Uh, I chose the quote. That's the, that's the type of art that I chose. And uh, when people see this, I want my viewers to think, uh, you know, they need to be inspired to clean the earth and make it better. Okay? Uh, going on to my next one, which would be my Bob Ross painting. You know, uh, this is, you know, it's quite the, quite the work of art. You're going to look at it at first and think, God, that's terrible. But then this is, this is the piece of work that inspired me. Now, let me tell you something. The art description for this one. Let me get to it <laughs> in the little, uh, here we go. The name of the art piece would be uh, Rock, because it rocks. <laughs> yeah. Um, the materials used was uh, paint, heart, soul, sweat, and tears. Uh, the person that inspired me for this would be Bob Ross. And the artist is, again, myself, Kevin McGuire. And, um, you know, I chose this because I thought a big rock would look cool, and it does. And that's why I chose this type. And, uh, you know, I want people to feel that I'm not good at art, but they would somehow find it funny and maybe think it looks good because of how bad it is. And, um, yeah, on to my next one would be my agamograph. Now, this was by far the most challenging thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. And I've had to do some pretty difficult tasks. Um, you know, it's titled Happy and Dead. I'm going to show it to you, and you're going you're gonna to be like, oh, it is happy and dead. So, you know... We're going to look this way and we're going to come across because at first we see a nice, happy environment with guys playing catch, having fun. It's nice outside. And then boom, dead flower, dude smoking weed, a guy getting shot. The sun's getting exhausted. This is all the stuff that's going to happen if we don't change our lives. You know what I'm talking about? Stuff I use for this one, colored pencils, blood, my blood, sweat, and tears again. Tape, a cutter, pencil, and my sweet, valuable time. Um, what inspired my work? The outside and people's poor choices with their, with the environment. Artist again, yours truly, Kevin McGuire. And, uh, you know, I hope people see it and, uh, you know, they want to change their life and fix their ecological footprint. All right, we're going on to the next one, the junk art. I think it's the one that we did the best on. I did this one with... Um, there it is. It's a beautiful little piece of flower work. My name signed right there. Um, this one was done with uh, Zach Jackson and me. So those are the three artists. Let me pull up that one for you. We call this one The Plastic Garden by uh, Kevin Jackson and Zakish Luish. Uh, we use bottle cap. Jackson Sherman is right here, actually. Oh, he's going to bring it over. Yeah, there we go. Here it is. Yep. This here is, one, is. Of my, for, one of my artists with me. You know, we used uh, hot glue, bottle caps, egg carton, and uh, flagpole sticks. Uh, you know, something that inspired our work would be flowers, right? It's because they're flowers. Um, you know, we had multiple colors and we wanted to use them. That's what inspired us. Uh, I would hope that they'd be like, whoa, that's such a pretty garden and be like, oh, snap. It's not a garden. It's water bottles. And that's, that's what inspired me there. And then, uh, you know, 10 things that the world could do, like with their trash instead would be, hey, man, make it into a kitchen utensil or maybe like a gardening tool it can be useful because it gets it out of landfills, right? It's There's just so many good things to do. I've got it all written down on this sheet that I will submit to you. Or you can like read it right there because it's going to be hard for me to read all that because I'm running out of time on storage on my phone. My poor painting, I did not do that because I just did not have that time in my hands. Ferg, I hope you feel better. And uh, man, it's crazy that you got COVID because I never masked up once and <laughs> you did. And I didn't get it. <laughs> hope you feel better. Bye, Ferg.